Yeah, as the title describes itself. Yes, I like Michael Bay's fucking movies. Okay? I just realized that I do. Because I just watched the Ninja Turtles three times today. Back to back. Not just in normal mode, but in... What was it? 1.2 times mode? And then 1.9 times mode? Just to see if I can find any, like, hidden gems in the movie. And I did find some hidden gems in the movie that indicate there was going to be a part two no matter what. And there's going to be a part three no matter what. But I digress. But I wanted to just, just let you guys know, yes, I watched Transformers back to back too. Because I couldn't find any work today. So, oh. What's up, Mr. Stud? Stutter. Chicago stutter. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to say it. For the record, I know some of you guys might think Michael Bay's movies are fucking cheesy. Yes, I agree with you. The CGI needs brushing up. Yes. But, isn't that what we all wanted from like the 90s, 80s? A real life action Transformers? Or a real life action Ninja Turtles? Didn't what we, isn't that what we wanted? And then we got it. We, we bitched at it. Like, we can do better. <laughs> think about it. All you fucking civilian critics. You think you can do better than CGI? Some of you may can be. There are real videographers that love CGI. You understand the complexity of textures, molecules. You guys understand that. But the rest of you do not. And you guys criticized the movie. This is why I was like, can you do better? Because I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I swear to God, I cannot. And as a, someone that's French and American, I, I, I'm going to say this. You know, you know, I can't compare myself to Michael Bett. That's why I cannot do better. There's no such thing. He gives us, he has given us G.I. Joe. He's given us more of what we imagine and we still complain about it. How dare we? This is an artist that's trying to do something like me. If, if that was me, you would criticize me too. And that's what I'm disappointed about the credit system. You actually think, as a critic, you can do better in CGI. Can you add this video? Can you add this movie? Can you sit down? For fucking days and months at a time, and then each scene, making sure each dialogue, each year, uh, I, 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 CGI is performed and, and graded and color graded and animated and then sent to Blender correctly. Some cases, some people do use Blender for certain things. <laughs> Can you? No, you cannot. So you cannot criticize me. Just accept it for what it is. Yes. It does need brushing up. Yes. I'm not saying that you should not criticize. But some people went hard on Michael Bay. And they, let me tell you. I think Michael Bay said himself. He doesn't give a fuck what you think. And I don't give a fuck what you think. So. I'm about to finish watching. Ninja Turtles again for a fourth time. And 0 0.6 times slow mode. Guys I'm trying to find hidden stuff. Because I want to help my uh, my friend, Thomas. If you guys don't know Thomas, he's also an asthmatic. Trust me. TP, uh, Just Life Productions, he's on my Instagram. Thomas Lapina. We are both chronic asthmatic individuals that rollerblade it. And most people don't realize that as rollerbladers. We, we were the fucking only two chronic asthmatic people skating. That was not just ballsy, but that was dangerous. Think about it. So for you guys to criticize us, me and Thomas, we were both filmmakers. Mind you, we both filmed for rollerblading. He produced a lot of the videos. We shot and we took turns behind the camera to shoot for him and shoot for everyone else. But no one realized that we were the only two asthmatic, chronic asthmatic individuals in New York City that was skating. 
There were other asthmatic individuals, but they were not chronic. We were chronic, and we are still chronic. <laughs> so to, with that said, everyone, I just want to emphasize that because he has a YouTube channel that does movie and trailer reviews. Please go check his check his channel out. Let me try to link him. Actually, where is he? Let's go get Thomas in here. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go put Thomas. Ah, oh, there you are, sir. There you are. I just sent Thomas an invite. Yeah, I just sent Thomas an invite. But guys, I went to the board, the the, the public health. Uh, today to talk about the hotels finally I had a schedule appointment because these hotels and these hostels are trying to get me to stay in a hotel room or a hostel room or a dormitory with another guest and technically it's a violation so the keep with the grain of salt we don't busy pay straight where we got robbed we came back to the crime the scene of the crime because Panda kind of wants more action this time he wants to he wants another tooth <laughs> I want another tooth from you, buddy. Come on, let me knock out another tooth. And still get my phone back. Ah, vitivate. I'm being cocky about that because the police officer and me in the square was like, you should be proud of that. <laughs> you got something out of that. I was like, what? He's like, that tooth. <laughs> A lesson learned. I was like, that's true. Maybe next time he would... He would, he would second think about robbing someone that he does not know but here's another thing too that I am also discovering when I walk when people walk down this very street by me right they don't seem to be bothered but when it's someone else they walk in the street around the car back into the sidewalk isn't that something very anonymous, like very, how, how can I describe that in a vocabulary sense of understanding? Don't you seem that humane? I'm no, per, no different from the other homeless person. Yes, I might have an education, I might have my head on my shoulders, but I'm pretty sure this person does too because he's still alive, right? Am I right or wrong? So give him the benefit or her the benefit of the doubt. Or their children, in that case, <laughs> the benefit of the doubt. DJ Den in the house. And they But I'm just I just wanna point out something, like it's just strange how people's human reactions are. This is why I study education psychology education for a reason. This is how I, I know when people are making a stereotype opinion without even saying anything. It's just to how you look, how you turn, look at me, and how your eyes roll up or down. It could be if I'm to your right, you look at my right, but you look down and right after. Hmm. You don't look up, straight up, for it. You look straight down, and in sadness, but in and despite. Like, if I did something wrong to you, no, 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 no. And Siri, uh, we did not do anything to each other. This is COVID, okay? COVID did this to us, but the government was aware of COVID before COVID hit the US. So, m remind you that COVID has been a while for a while, but that's another thing I want to talk about. <coughs> I said in my post that I refuse to take the vaccine and I still refuse it. Guys, you know why? I don't take anything. Here's a reason why. I took a medication long ago for something else and it did something that it wasn't supposed to. It wasn't re it wasn't hundred percent FDA approved, ninety nine percent FDA approved, ninety eight percent FDA approved. And this is why I don't do medicine. 
And there's sometimes what I do have to do, like headache medicine or flu medicine. I'm fine with that. But a vaccine that stops COVID? No, 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 no. That's a different topic. That's a different story. I refuse to take the vaccine. I don't care what the government has to say. You can jail me for it. I'm not taking something that I, I'm not died in the next fucking two weeks or the next week. More and more reports are coming out of fucking every country that takes in, that has taken the vaccine. That's a pimp ass ride, dude. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I am not mad at him. <laughs> but yet, I'm not taking a vaccine that's not been 99% approved. I'm sorry. It has to be 99% approved. I, I cannot take that risk factor. Not at this age or day. We are... I would say we are the disease of what, what's been going on. Come on, think about it, guys. The more we don't take care of ourselves, the more we don't take care of the planet, the more we don't actually look up for other resources of energy, the more we are destroying ourselves. And this is not just scientific standpoint. This is just, just an education standpoint to wake up. This is not going to be here forever. It's not. None of this is going to be here forever. It's going to be destroyed. Be why? Because we didn't take a better good care of this planet, ourselves, or the, our resources. We weren't too bright enough to know what to do with it. When there were other means to do something with it. I'm pretty sure we have other means of dealing with this, uh, our resources. There's other ways how we can take our resources and make it into a better... <sighs> this way, better energy consumption is better. I wish more governments would look into this, but no. <clears throat> I'm going to follow the Elon, Elon Musk uh, band train and get on that train. I'm going to start carrying on solar panels again. Because the ray power of solar panels were not great. When I had those panels, they were not that good. Guess what? It took like six hours just to give me 30% power on my iPhone. So it was basically giving me like 2.1 megawatt power to charge every like 10 minutes. I was like, no, I'm fucking done with this. This is, it's a gimmick. Bring me a solar panel, portable solar panel that actually really works. Until then, I don't care if I have to pay 100 bucks for it. Give me one that actually works. And I will buy it. And I will use it. And I'll make a video of it. I guarantee it. I'll make a video like I make a video of everything else that I have made. Like this beautiful girl that keeps coming down here every night. <laughs> I sweat. Sweat to you guys. I make a video about it every single night. Well, not, not, not the herd. But what I'm trying to say is. The solar panel. <laughs> See, you guys have me distracted. There's too many beautiful Asian women walking down this block, and I'm like, I'm not embarrassed to be sitting there I'm like, oh. Because you see how, you see how she walked by me. But if that was a ho another homeless man, they would walk around the car, back onto the sidewalk. Dude, that person is just like me. Yes, he might have. You don't know what his circumstances are or her circumstances are. You don't even know my circumstances are. But you look at me, you see me, oh, you dress so well. Oh, you dress so nice. That doesn't mean shit. <laughs> you, could be, you could be a rich crackhead. You know that, right? I realized that today. <laughs> There's rich crackheads. <laughs> I was like, what? Some guy in Union Square was telling me, he's like, you know who that woman is, right? So I was like, no. He's like, that's a rich crackhead. He's like, what? I started laughing. <laughs> He's like, dude, there's rich crackheads in San Francisco. It's like, don't let them fool you. <laughs> and he woke me up. He was really dead on point. Because like, the next thing she did was went behind the bush. On the other side of the park. And she had a little pipey pipey. He's like, see? He says, 
I've been here for 30 years, son. <laughs> he's teaching me. And mind you, he's 29. And he's calling me son. <laughs> so I let it go out. But he made his point. But anyway. I just want to let you guys know I love Michael Bay's fucking movies. I don't care what you guys have to say. <laughs> I, I realize I'm watching it over and over again. Trying to find certain secret little hidden messages or gems and I have found one there's going to be a Ninja Turtles 3 I guarantee it I guarantee it because I was watching the second one and it, I was like whoa did, did it just hint another another is Strider coming back it seems like Strider's going to come back but you're not going to think what he's going to think I think he, it's going to be a, a twat plus he's going to help the turtles but he's going to betray the turtles at the very end. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. Because uh, watching the, the cartoons and the animates, I've been doing research carefully. Because it got it stuck on me. It's like, I should direct this next Ninja Turtles movie. I got so many cool ideas. I got so many cool ideas for the suit or the animation. If they want to do it that way. Because they wanted to do it... The traditional style with the suit, but no, no, no. Let's do the let's do the CGI way. And I have some really good ideas for Donatello and Raphael's like new like they they new suit because did you know they get armor later on? And it yeah, it's kind of weird because it, two reveal that they didn't realize they were bulletproof, so they have super strength. But they didn't also realize that, yeah, if you go into the turtles, like, dialogue and history, oh, whoa. Turtles find out they are more and more powerful than they think they are. Yeah, they have an ability to sense your incoming strikes. Now they are masters at, they're more powerful than Master Strider and they own Master, uh, uh, what's the, what's the rat? Uh, 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 I can't, I can't think. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to apply. Yeah. Uh, so I read that and I was like what so you telling me these turtles are pretty much like they're not gods but they <laughs> like <laughs> literally they got they got invited to they got into the invited to the justice league are you fucking kidding me <laughs> yeah I read that part yeah they got invited to the justice league oh wow because of Batman. What the fuck was that? I was like, how did Batman meet the turtles? Wouldn't that happen? <laughs> and that's when I read that fucking storyline. I was like, whoa, there's so many storylines of Batman meeting the turtles. What the fuck? <laughs> so I was like, does DC own the turtles? And that's when I was getting all conflicted and confused about it and reading more about the research on it, Wikipedia. I was like, whoa, so, yeah, so there is a, a dialogue with the fucking turtles of Batman, and then they get invited to Justice League. That was a mind twist. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm sorry. See, this is what Michael Bay movie does. This is why they're good. They make you do the research, and they make you want to discover new things about these characters in these movies. And I think Michael Bay did a good job. Yeah, and his, anim his CGI and his, his animation... The brushing up and the the polishing needs to be done really better. I know they rush things because you know budget wise, but I'm sorry, the man broke us what we wanted for a long, long time since the '90s. So I think we should be grateful for it and lessons be learned, and maybe someone would do better next time. Because Mikey Bay is just the start. We are we are just starting, mind you, we're just in the peak of our technology. So think about that. The peak. We're not even tapping into the full potential of what we can do if we want to learn. Hey, headlights, headlights did. Oh wow. If we want to learn how to develop a skill set. And actually understand what we're doing to better what te technologies that we are creating. But I digress. Anyway, 
pennant hit it's only 6 16 it's dark and it got cold and it got windy i got left i walked around for a little bit i went to go get some chips and some amazon iced tea yeah i'm living in the the, the i guess the my life is okay once i'm not doing any stupid things but yeah I'd rather not do stupid fucking stupid things and just like <laughs> someone is like why don't you have like a poster someone on Instagram said why don't I have a poster and say hey help me out nope I'm not pen handling nope nah I don't if I pen handle my sign is going to be totally different to what it's going to say <laughs> I don't want your money but I do want your opinion. <laughs> if I get money, I want to invest in something, what would it be? Because I'm thinking about investing whatever I'm gonna get from my uh, unemployment. I want to invest something in like big so I can look back on it in the future because like something's telling me I need to invest for a future. It seems like I'm gonna need it in the future. I have this funny feeling. So I want to, whenever my unemployment comes to which, like I said, six to eight weeks probably, who knows? Because it, it, they're not, oh, oh Wisconsin and their system is so fucking stupid. Oh, out of date. But anyways, yet, uh, I want to invest in something. And yeah, I know you guys are like, but you need a house and I know, I, want, I still want to invest in something. And let it sit there for another five years. If, I, if it takes another five years to gain any interest, let it do so. I don't care anymore. I kind of live my 40 years of a good life. I can live 10 more years trying to struggle. It's not that hard. I live 40 good years not struggling. I can, I can use 10 years struggling. I think that's fair. But with that said, everyone, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care of yourselves. You guys want support? Please. I leave the donations in the descriptions. But uh, we watch a beautiful cars come by. You know, and assholes without uh, no bonds, I guess. Because they don't care how fast they drive in. <laughs> Maniacs in San Francisco, I'll tell you. <laughs>